Hi there, it's Martin here. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about which elements of the building works your builders can't actually carry out. Now that might seem a little bit of an odd thing to say, because most people would expect builders to be able to build. They can build brickwork, they can do carpentry work, they can hang doors, they can put in windows, they can plumb in bathrooms and kitchens. But there are still some things that builders can't do. Let me tell you what those items are. Those are the parts of the job where you have to bring in an outside authority to do those elements. And the things I'm thinking about are the electric connection, the gas connection, water connection, and possibly even a dropped curb between your driveway and the road. Now in those instances, you have to go back to your local statutory body that manages that element and apply to them for them to use their own approved contractors to do that work. Your contractor can generally always do the work on your property. So your contractor can dig the trenches, your con contractor can install meter boxings and meter housings on your front wall, but the connection to the main water electric gas has to be carried out by the company nominated by that statutory authority. And in fact, those companies are also approved to work on highways land. So they are approved to dig up the pavement or even dig up the road if that's necessary to make the connection. Exactly the same goes with uh, a dropped curb. Uh, you need to approach the highways approved contractors because your builder is not likely to be approved to work on the highways. The highways approved contractors, on the other hand, can work on the highways and they can carry out that work for you. So if you send out a project uh, to a builder to price, don't be at all surprised if they don't price those elements of the work, or perhaps they put in what we would call a provisional sum. So they give you a provisional figure for those elements of the work, because in reality, it's totally outside of their control. What you can ask them to do, however, is manage the process for you. So don't be afraid to outsource the management to them. Let them coordinate the best time for those works to be carried out, but make sure that you uh, acknowledge that they can't actually physically do those works for you. So I really hope that this has just shed a little bit of light as to why some things might be happening when you're having discussions with your builder. As ever, click below just to like this video. It really helps us to know that you're watching. Leave any comments if there's anything you'd like me to follow up on, and I look forward to catching up with you on another video soon.